Hello, hello, this is Jeff Helvin with Balan Brands, and today I want to show you how to navigate in FusionSoft. Uh, FusionSoft is a pretty powerful tool, and there's a lot that you can do in the system. Realistically, we're probably going to use about 20% of the functions on a regular basis, but then, of course, everything else is still available for us to use at a high level as we continue to get more engaged with the system. So what I wanted to do here is just show you a quick little rundown of kind of where things are at. Uh, so once you log into Infusionsoft, it usually is going to take you right to your dashboard. Uh, I've talked in a different video about how to configure your dashboard, so that is set up there. Uh, so please go take a look at those videos. But in here, I wanted to show you really where we're going to access different items. Now the two places that I like to keep people that are using Infusionsoft in the most is going to be in your dashboard, of course, where you land first, and then also your My Day section. And this really gives us a much clearer look of what I need to do today as far as tasks that I've set myself, uh, that I've set for myself, opportunities that I have to pursue, and so forth. So the My Day section and the dashboard are, are really where I, I'd like to see everyone live. This is, this is where we have the most opportunity to uh, kind of keep on point on where we should spend our, our time. Now as far as configuration and additional setup items, everything is accessed under this Infusionsoft icon up here on the top. And that's going to drop down this screen that gives you access to all of the different sections that we can use in Infusionsoft. Now in my demo account here, we have all things enabled. So we have e-commerce, we have e-commerce, uh, there's definitely some admin features, we have marketing functions, and we have CRM functions. So this is really how Infusionsoft is broken down. Now if you don't have e-commerce enabled, for example, or uh, there's different things that you have, you may not see all of these same links, but uh, if you do, this is where they're going to be. So under here, I actually have the ability to edit my own navigation to pull in places that I need to access quickly myself. So if I wanted to, I could actually pull the campaign builder over here and I could pull over uh, products over here. So it actually gives me some customizations to make this like my, my hot buttons, my hot points if I want to. So I like to leave it just like this, again with the dashboard and the My Day being easy access and then I, I do navigate into these other sections as I need different items. So under the CRM, this is where I'm able to look up contacts and add new contacts. Uh, you can actually manage companies as well. Uh, there's opportunities that are attached to contacts. There's referral partners that we can set up if, if you run that kind of a business. And then you can also see some of the visitor settings. Additionally from there, there's reports that are specific to your contacts in the CRM portion of the system. And then there's different settings that I can set as well, which we go into in different videos. Uh, next we have the marketing and the campaign builder is really where we build a lot of the automation that happens in the system. Uh, there's emails and broadcasts of course, so if you are sending out emails to your database, this is where you're going to go to access that under the marketing tab. There's lead generation, which gives us a, a different set of options in order to uh, set up forms and other capture items. Then there's templates that control our emails and broadcasts and other items as well. And then there's what they call legacy, which are actions that used to live in Infusionsoft that still do, they still work in Infusionsoft, however they've built new ways to interact, such as under legacy there's something called an action set, which allows us to actually set up a, if this happens, then do that, and if this matches this criteria, then have these things happen after. And that's actually mostly handled in Campaign Builder now. So, but they do still have that action and activity existing in Infusionsoft. And of course under reports, or under marketing, there's a report section as well. So you can run reports specific to your marketing efforts and then additional settings in marketing as well. Next we have the e-commerce that allows you to do your setup, your payment integrations, see your orders, add products, perform actions, run promotions, and again, legacy for some of the different features there. And again, there's reports and there's settings specific to e-commerce. And then finally, there's the admin section that allows us to manage our logos and other things that are related to our, our business as a whole that will show up in other parts of the system. Our billing and account information that's on file with Infusionsoft if we need to make updates there. We've got our users, so this shows us who is active in our system or who we have set up as users to access our system. We can import data 
from other systems. And then we could also do a data cleanup, which is nice. This allows us to uh, check for duplicates and essentially find records on ways where we can clean up the, the data that we have pulled in. Uh, finally, we have reports for admin, and which includes task activity, task notes, and note reports that we can look things up and set, set different criteria there. And then we have our settings for the admin as well. So I'm not going to go into every one of those in this particular video, but I just want to show you kind of where that navigation is. Finally, up here we have a, uh, the ability to, to enable a microphone. So you can't actually, instead of having to type everything, you can use the microphone as an option. Under this home is where you're going to see your different tools. So basic training on how to help, your initial setup, and your dashboard. Of course, your My Day calendar tasks, and then your inbox and files, if you have this integrated with uh, Gmail. We have our most recent items that we've accessed. So in this case, you know, Tom Smith is, a, is a, a fake user that I have in here, or a fake contact, I should say. And, um, and then I set up a sample task. And so you can see these are, and then these are campaigns that I have set up. So this is what I've most recently accessed in my system. Here I can actually have favorites. So again, kind of like what you can do where you customize your navigation over here, you can also set up favorites. So you can add quick links to certain sections of Infusionsoft if that's a better way for you to manage. We have the marketplace, which is actually really nice as well, where you're able to go and you can purchase third-party um, campaigns or sometimes they're for a price and sometimes they're free templates as well. So the marketplace is a good place to go uh, find like I said, third-party applications that will help you get more out of Infusionsoft. And then from here, there's they have it broken down into applications, campaigns, and different services. Under here is your actual profile. So you'll see here where it just simply has your name. You can manage different accounts and you can log out. So those are your options there. And then finally, they have actually a really useful help center. So there's a, a community blog that you're able to access and ask questions. There's a help center that has screenshots and step-by-step -step information. And then there's also the ability to join a local user group. So in a lot of areas, user groups are available where they meet once a month and you guys talk about Infusionsoft, how you're using it, and where you want to go from there. And they also have an online chat feature, so which is extremely useful as well. So if you have simple questions such as, you know, I'm adding this or I can't find that, uh, or where do I change this, then the online chat is a useful tool for you as well to help navigate that. And then finally up here on the top right we have our actual search. So this is where I'm able to search contacts. So I start to type in a name, it pulls up contacts that match. Um, I can also search company records, task and note appointments, I can search orders, subscriptions, uh, other referral partners and opportunities that I have in the system. So this search tool up here is really the quickest way to access. If you know that you're something in particular you're going to go try to uh, gain access to, then this might be one of the quickest and best ways to do that so you don't have to fumble around and try to find how to get into certain sections of the system. And adding a contact, they also have a quick add option up here. So you can very simply just add the name, email, and phone number and choose uh, you know, what number type there is and save that. We also can customize this form and add very specific types of things. So let's say you want to add in address as well. You always want to have that easily accessible here because maybe you always require addresses in your system. And if that's the case, we can customize this form to actually include addresses as well. So again, there's really a lot um, that we can get into in the system and there's quite a bit that we need to understand of what we're trying to accomplish and then the system can be tailored more to you. Uh, there's, like I said, many different areas that we can get into as you can see with all of these different options here. But realistically you're going to utilize a, a certain set of features the most. So we want to get very comfortable with those but still know how to access the rest of the areas in the system as well. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can email us at team at and we'd look, look forward to helping you and, and would love to be able to help you with your Infusionsoft needs.